synopsis. What's good people this is synopsis and welcome to the beat breakdown series in today's video i'm gonna teach you how to make the classic spanish guitar melody this is the beat that i use for any chapa shot of flow remake so if you want to check it out first you can click the card up there so yeah guys let's go straight into it so yeah guys first thing that i did is i made the guitar loop i'm using a isla fimo nylon guitar so yeah let's hear the loop and i'm gonna show you how i did it Okay guys, this was the loop. Now I'm gonna show you how I did it. I'm gonna create a new pattern. You wanna go to snap and snap to one third step. Now you wanna zoom in and you wanna draw a note in these three boxes. And I'm gonna create a minor chord, which in my case it's A minor. And you wanna copy and paste them. So you're gonna hold control, left click to highlight them. And you can control B, set it to second beat. If you want to do it faster, you can go here, right click, drag it, and again, control B, control B, control B. You want to do that for two bars. And now what you have to do is control, left click, select them all, and you want to drag them together, like so. And there you have it. All I did was copy and paste it and pitch it down five steps. Now to make it sound more natural, you want to control and left click again to highlight them all, Alt R, and you want to play with the velocity so it sounds more natural. So as far as effects go, all I have is Pro Q3, we got RC20, I have some vintage cores on it, Valhalla reverb and have time okay next up is violin just basic like two-step pattern like i had i'm using spitfire solo violin which is awesome because it has amazing legato and amazing staccato you just have to shorten the note and you get amazing staccato as you heard but for longer notes you just expand it and it has awesome legato so i really recommend it and as far as the melody goes all i did is added a vocal violin all i did is basic eq and the hollow reverb again and for the vocal i like to filter my vocals a lot as you hear echo boy dual echo very basic and the hollow vintage reverb again okay let's move to the drums in the intro we have sub going with the guitar and it goes into the 808 classic 808 pattern as you hear in many beats Make sure your 808s are in tune. The 808 I'm using is Trifreeze 808. I really like that 808 because even when it clips, it sounds amazing. Then we have snare and three. Then we have counter snare. I 
Bad. Then I added low head to add a little bit of depth. Next up, we have open head. I added this open head on 808 hits, just first three. Then I got the perk in here. Then I added another hi-hat which is not on 808 hits. So. so as far as mixing goes, on 808 just classic EQ snare again just basic low cut with some of the highs for the counter again simple EQ when you're working with quality samples you really don't have to do that much to them in most cases just leave them as it is it had again classic low cut i cut some of the harshness around 7600 boost some of the highs i got effect tricks a couple of reverses and vinyl stops with low heads again just basic eq open heads eq as well pretty basic perk i got nothing moving on to the mastering i'm gonna turn everything off first so first in the chain we have pro q3 couple of boosts in the low mids with some of the high end next up is ssl compressor for one ratio about one db of reduction 30 milliseconds attack, press release. Next up is Saturn 2. I'm adding a little bit of warmth to the mid range. Next in the chain is Ozone 10. I'm doing analog limiting. You want to bring the ceiling down to 2.5 dB and bring the threshold until you see those blue bars, till you catch those peaks. Next up, fresh air, adding a little bit of high end in the mid range. And Pro L2 for final loudness. You wanna hit around minus 10, minus 9 LUFS on your UV meter. And that's pretty much it. So yeah guys, this was a beat breakdown video. I didn't go fully into the details of mixing and mastering, but if you want me to, comment down below. If you have any other suggestions, should I do another beat breakdown, or you want me to do a cook-up mixing and mastering tutorial, comment down below as well. And yeah, until next time, peace out.